Hey, what up everyone? Jerky Jones here. Thank you for tuning in to my video about my 1990 Dodge Ram van. So today I'm just going to talk about um, a story about how I got ripped off with buying the van. Uh, it really sucked uh, and I'm going to explain that and then I'm just going to just kind of say why I chose the van and uh, what I like about it and what I want to do with it, you know? Um, stop! Shush! It's okay, baby! my dog so let me start with what everyone wants to hear uh how i got ripped off the van okay so i was on facebook marketplace i saw the van for sale i really liked it you know it's cool it's retro uh it's got lots of windows it's big it was perfect for uh what i wanted you know and it was close by where i lived so I messaged a guy, you know, he said, oh, the van's in perfect shape. It'll pass safety, no problem. I bought it from this um, auto shop a couple years ago. Um, you know, take it back there and they can uh, safety it. It'll safety, no problem. They took, they sold it to me. So I was like, okay, sweet, man. I'm out up with them. Looked at the van, looks great, low kilometers. I looked under at the frame, frame looked good. The body's really good, you know, the engine it ran. I test drove it, reversed it. All the wiring works, the lights work, the radio, everything. It's pretty dope actually, right? So I was like, fuck yeah. So I paid the guy like a decent amount, you know, for the van. Um, if it was like the same year and everything, but like had like, you know, 300,000 kilometers, I wouldn't have paid anything close, but it's only got 115,000 kilometers on it. So, uh, I was like, hell yeah, that's nothing, you know? Um, so anyways, I bought the van, I paid him in cash, you know, took the offer that I made him, which is lower than his asking, but a couple hundred bucks. And I was like, sick. I was super stoked. So I took it to the mechanic to get safety. Me in the meanwhile, during the week that I was at the mechanics, I was watching all these YouTube videos about van life, getting so hyped up, so stoked. You know, I was ready to hit the road. Everything was going to be great. And then I get a call when I'm walking my dog from the mechanic. He's like, oh, uh, yeah, there's um, a big hole in the frame here at the back, uh, plus a bunch of other things. Uh, yeah, it, it's not. I can't pass the safety. Uh, it's going to um cost at least two thousand dollars to get that hole fixed i was like oh my god my heart dropped right i was like what the fuck i paid all this money it was supposed to be good the guy guaranteed me it was going to pass the safety no problem so i was pissed right but so i messaged the guy and i kept my cool you know i wasn't like fuck you buddy blah, blah, you owe me my money i said like very politely i said basically you know like hey man you said the van was in good shape i got a call from the mechanic you know it's, it's got a hole in the frame and it needs all this work blah 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 i said like like i was under the impression that it was good to go based off what you said and i said man like can you give me some of my money back or something so i can pay for this and you know he was pretty nice like when i met him he was nice and stuff you know and so he was like he's like oh no and he said he claim that he had no idea you know he's like i'm actually quite pissed at them because i bought the van off them and they sold me a shitty van you know so anyways he offered to get one of his buddies to weld the frame and and fix the issues right so i was like okay so i took it to his place drove it back there left it there i was kind of nervous you know i was like fuck i hope it's the right thing to do like i hope he doesn't fucking steal my van or something you know so anyways, it was there for a couple weeks. He called me and he's like, oh, it's all welding's all done. I was like, sick. So I went and picked it up and he didn't weld the frame part. He welded a few other little things that were on the list of things that needed to be done, but weren't critical or the expensive things. And I was like, fuck me. So, you know, I, I didn't call him back and bitch. I just towed the van back to my place and I said, whatever, I'll deal with it. You know, I'll figure something out. Um, so here it sits, but let that be a lesson, right? Like it sucked, man. I looked, I thought for sure I was buying a solid vehicle. I didn't, I had no idea. And the hole in the frame is really tucked up at the very, very back. You can barely see it. Like it's super hard to see. You can feel in there. I was like, really? Like, so what, whatever, 
but like if you can bring a mechanic with you bring someone you know that knows cars they may see something that you didn't or or even better advice if you're going by yourself and you're not a trained professional mechanic type person when you look at the frame don't just do a quick glance like do not feel rushed because the person's waiting there take as long as you need and thoroughly thoroughly check every inch crack corner spot you know um for holes cracks things falling apart leaks whatever take your time really look in the parts that don't seem and and maybe that you'll find something pick something up so anyways there's the story about the van that's kind of how i got ripped off it sucked but i'm dealing with it my buddy who lives a couple hours away is gonna help me you know get it fixed up and get it safetyed so i'm taking it there sometime this week or next week we'll see so it's not all is not lost all is not lost but it definitely crushed the soul for a little while so anyways that's the story about how i got ripped off with the van <laughs>